What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Project Manga Podcast, where we cover One Piece, Black Clover, My Hero Academia, Promise Neverland, Chainsaw Man, Samurai 8, and Jujutsu Kaisen, week to week. Covering issue number 50 this week, we're back. I'm your host, Eagle. It's your boy, Kiko. Noxy. And uh, before we get started, we'd just like to say that you can visit the link tree in the box down below to find all of our online communities to come hang out with us and also to find the links for wherever you like to listen to your podcast because we're on all audio listening platforms now. And um, with all that being said, what uh, what's something that stood out this week in Jump for you guys? Just Jujutsu. It's a big chapter. A lot <laughs> yeah. of stuff. A lot of words. Yeah. A lot of things. Yeah, 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 a lot yeah. of things. A lot of things happening. Jujutsu is massive. Black Clover also stood out a lot. I, I feel like everything yeah. stood out like significantly in its own way. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, above sure. all else, I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen and Black Clover are the top two for me this week. There's just a lot of words. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes, know, I need all. this. All yeah. this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the the words in Black Clover, I think, were especially especially good. But yeah, um, yep. I think we can save that for the meat and potatoes. We can get right into Jujutsu Kaisen, Chapter Eighty Three, the Shibuya Incident, Part One. I start Shibuya, this off. Shibuya, Shibuya, hell no! Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like Kiko was saying, like a lot of words in this chapter, but it's cool because we're learning the curtain conditions, right? So it's like really great mm-hmm. to get that because for the longest. I was confused on exactly how they worked, but it does mm-hmm. look like anyone can cast a curtain and set certain rules to it, right? Which is which is really cool to see. Um, yep. Also, seeing the team ups here is really cool. Um, like seeing all the pairings for the the teachers and the and the students together, it, it's making everything really exciting, right? I'm super excited to see Maki and Nobara's team with the the head the head of, of the Zenin clan with the now Vito. <laughs> yes, now Vito. Yes, dude. You know, every time there's an old dude, <laughs> yes. you, like get it's ready for time. Dragon Dive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, so Dragon, Dragon Dive, dive incoming. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, Hell dude. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I you would think that Yuji would be paired with Nanami, right? But he's with mm. but he's with Mei Mei. Because I mean, like Nami and or uh, Nanami that, and uh, that and, group's so weird to me. That That's is the, so the, weird. The weirdest. And her little brother, and they're all like, yeah, touching each other a little too much for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shad said, uh, Shad said that that Yui Yui kid, yeah, is either yeah. a genius. Uh, or has a crazy yeah. ability or is a prodigy i think he's all yeah. three because yeah, sure. he's not I mean, there yeah, for, yeah. yeah he's not there for no reason and if he's a kid he's got to be booming you know what i'm saying like if you're bringing a kid to a, you know a sus you know kind of situation like i mean they don't know the gravity of the situation yet because they don't know you know the 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 plan of the villains but i just feel like that kid is going to be broken right but, well, and mm-hmm. since we're talking about him, like I was wondering about how they, they don't have a last name. Apparently, it's just Mei Mei and Yu Yui. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, are they? I, and I'm like, are they from one of these like you know special clans or something? You know, the Mei and, clan, right? No, because it's Kamo, oh, it's Kamo, no. Gojo, and 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 uh, Zenin. Zenin. Yeah, she's definitely of like a higher uh, status. Yeah, for she sure. gotta I think be. It was implied. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. what I thought. First met her, I didn't feel like it was implied that way. Maybe, it, yeah. maybe it's a maybe it is a clan, but it's not a part of the main three, and it's a clan yeah. that we haven't yeah. heard of yet, and they're waiting to give us the name of it. Yeah, maybe something like that. Like you know, um, Kokito, his clan. You know, like we didn't know he he definitely had a real clan. He yeah. had fucking um, simple uh, domain. Yeah, yeah. You Miwa. Know? And- Miwa's was another one without a last name, isn't she? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I can't remember, remember but yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I feel like I feel like we're gonna start getting a little bit more, and I feel like the world's gonna open up a little bit more after this. Maybe even yeah. during this arc, but but after this yeah. arc specifically, um, Panda, Panda out here seeing Panda again yeah. was really cool to see. Yeah, and and it's like it's crazy how like he's the only one that mentions anything about the well being of civilians, you know, which is crazy because he's the only non human character on the you know on the chessboard. Yeah, you know? no, so that says funny. that says a lot about shamans too, you know. 
Well, he's just with the teacher. That's they're the only two person group, you know. That yeah. um, Atsuya, whatever. I don't know. I'm sure that's the first time we got him, but he was a you mm-hmm. know a, a grade one yeah. shaman, exorcist, sorcerer man. Yeah. Uh, and so, so he's I on mean, he's on par with Nanami, right? Not, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's I mean, gonna and, be cold. And and Megumi is stage two grade two and he the, he's you know, up for it's promotion said, right yeah and he's up for Processing, promotion yeah. yeah yeah it's like is he about to be grade one you know is there something between like grade two and grade one you know how there's Quasi like a high grade. grade well well yeah oh yeah yeah well because like that now Beto zenin is supreme grade one that's yeah. the only one you see in at least those titles you yeah. know and I, obviously gojo has to be a supreme grade one and yeah, then that uh, other old, gojo's old just man. gojo class yeah i know yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, goat. yeah, for sure. yeah goat yeah he's goat just class. goat yeah so so yeah i mean it's it's cool to see one of these supreme grades you know like i'm i'm ready to see you know dragon yeah. dive hit, hit dude the stage, i'm you know? so ready to see that shit i yeah. can't wait to see the abilities of these characters that we don't know because it's like right when i saw that old dude I'm like, it's going okay. down. It's going down, yo. This dude's yeah. got the man shoe. Oh, yeah, man. if you got the mustache yeah. or the beard or some kind of combination, <laughs> you got some. You in? Yeah, mm-hmm. and and the strategy and, set uh, by. Uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say it's cool to see like the actual multifaceted um, plan. Like they're not just like, all right, we're we're going here. This yeah. is where we're wrecking yeah. shit. Like yeah. how they have multiple different, you know, incidents right. yeah. that they're setting up in different places. Right. Yep. Just Jugo, um, Hanami, right? That's the Hanami. Hanami. Yeah. Yep. And then yep. Choso. And then Choso is that third. I was wondering. The one with the, the one with the crazy sword where the hilt is just a hand shaking. He's shaking yeah. hands with his sword. Yeah. Yeah. That one's really that fucking that one? creepy. Yeah, yeah. That's Choso. Yeah. That's who's with. That's who's with uh, Jugo and, and yeah. Hanami. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, Gojo just does not give a fuck. He about doesn't care. He, 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 I mean, he why would he? Steps down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like the strategy that they have here is pretty smart, though, right? Because like locking all the civilians in the curtain while confronting Gojo is. Probably because of how intense his area of effect damage is, right? Yeah, so it has they, to be. Yeah, so they need the people there to like keep him from from really going all out. But I feel like Gojo has the kind of control over his techniques where he can properly aim and concentrate. His yeah. purple, at least his oh, purple technique, right? Definitely so, at this so, stage of the game. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I, I don't know. I don't know. You know how big of a factor the civilians are going to play there. I mean, maybe unless they want to take hostages. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to like use collateral damage as a way to deter him from. From really going crazy, but Jogo is a little bit too confident here, talking crazy to I Gojo. Know. Like he won't just wash all three of them. <laughs> yeah, looking like Palpatine with the cane and shit. Like <laughs> he ain't ready. I'm gonna tell you right now. He uh, does. But, yeah, it is. It is Palpatine I don't think vibes. Can use the blue at least, the one where he crushes yeah, a bunch yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like, think. Yeah, because I feel like that's gonna be the one that that could that could potentially hurt you know surrounding yeah, people a bunch the most. Of but yeah. even though like the villains here are like really confident with this plan that they have that doesn't like necessarily mean that everything is going to go off without a hitch right like i'm predicting big casualties on both sides really mm-hmm. you know like i can see jogo thinking it's sweet and then getting unmade <laughs> you know what i mean like he's still an arrogant curse you know what i mean like the plan yeah. has him gassed up like i can see him being like what's up gojo you know i got my squad now yeah, what's good yeah you know? yeah and then oh, he loses an army he's like yo i fucked up i fucked up and then she's like purple ah. <laughs> i low-key think though since his name is like the antithesis of gojo like jugo yeah. gojo they, yeah. the way they kind of are go yeah paralleled there i'm yeah. like this man is gonna be the one to do it well dude because because like when they first fought uh you know Gojo made a comment like this thing is an identified class of strength that we don't know like you know like this yeah. like he was comparing him to Sukuna the first time that they fought he's like he might be stronger than Sukuna is right now without you know with the, the amount of fingers that he has you know what I mean he's not full strength Sukuna but he was like the Sukuna that we know of right now Jogo is like on that level but he still washed him though so it's like that like yeah. what does that mean for <laughs> For Sukuna, you know, I don't know. He will have to have come up a pretty good distance from from then to want to do something different. Yeah. But then he also has two more people with him this time. Yeah. Who do you guys think is gonna die on the on our side? Uh, you know, you know, if motherfuckers are dying. Um. Uh, I mean, it's easy to say the no name. It's easy to say the no name. Get a little boy out of here. He's done for. <laughs> yeah. He's 
he's surviving. He definitely... He's not kissing his sister uh, anymore. <laughs> this is the last day for that shit. And what is this? No game, no life. <laughs> but uh, but no, dude. Like I feel Man. like I feel like I don't know. I feel like there's gonna have to be besides Gojo. I mean, like Gojo's getting sealed. Don't get it twisted. But and I feel like that's gonna you know be a cause for development all across the board or growth. You know, rather just because that's gonna be a pretty big hit. But I mean, like I feel like there's gonna be a, a, like a more personal you know death maybe in the form of like nanami to yuji or maybe, that's what i was thinking yeah too, yeah. yeah or so maybe nanami maybe even die, yeah. maybe even now Vito, and that would that would that would help bring that would help elevate maki's position in the zenin clan right because she's trying to be mm -hmm. the head don't she hate him i think she does yeah <laughs> so maybe she uh lets his ass die and... <laughs> oh dude i yeah. that would be ruthless i, I mean i would no, i would no. love that but i can't see it yeah i, I yeah. can't see it either, yeah but, i can't see it but uh a couple things i i was um wondering about is auxiliary managers what is an auxiliary because it's like sorcerers and auxiliary managers can come and go from the curtain as they please and it's like yeah is, are, are they doing. some are they some kind of like maybe um Oh, like a placeholder. They got. They're like the ones that uh, are. I don't know. The foundation of the curtain or something. Like mm -hmm. their cursed energy or something might be like just. I yeah. don't know the base for the curtain yeah. or something yeah. like that. Like the minimum uh, amount of cursed energy like required in order to pass freely back and forth. More yeah. than, more than what a, a regular human has. But yeah, like not yeah. On like a I, sorcerer level. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's what I was I was thinking too. But it's it's just yeah. We I don't think we've gotten any kind of explanation on what that is, which I'm hope we get. Um. I thought it was really fucking funny that everybody's like, where the fuck's Gojo, this guy? We need Gojo Satoru. Like, where the fuck is yeah, he? And yeah. then he bumps into that guy. He's like, sorry, and grabs his shoulder. Like, <laughs> yeah. like what, the, what, the, what the fuck's going on here? And then, <laughs> then he's walking, walking on top of their heads. <laughs> well, and that was my question is, is he walking on top of their heads? Or is he like Gepo or like yeah, fucking he has just walking to be, on air? Yeah. That's what it looked like. It, it's like he's just walking. Yeah, he know. has to be like walking on like, you know, like a, a super thin space that, you know, yeah, his, his infinity, infinity is, space yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Well, and it's weird, too, because like in that panel where he's walking across that crowd, they all look like Mahito. Yeah, dude. They what's up with that? They all have scars on their face, like yeah. Mahito. Did you see that's, Luffy? That's a Halloween party. Crowd of Did you see that's Luffy a in the Halloween background? Party. No. You didn't see Luffy what? and Hidan. <laughs> Luffy and Hidan. What? Yeah. Shout out to Itachi and shout out to Dana from the group chat for pointing that out. You can see Luffy. Look at the guy with the afro, the cow like colored afro on the right, and then directly like behind him is Luffy's straw hat. And he's backwards. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then maybe. and then Hidan is like in the foreground a little bit, a little bit closer to us. Oh yeah, oh, yep. Shit. Oh yep. damn, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That is fucking funny. But yeah. it's a Halloween oh, party. And then yeah, oh, that's dude. why they look like that. <laughs> yeah. Shout outs. Shout outs like... to Gay Gay going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But I was going to say, that was like one of my favorite panels. I just thought that was a great looking panel with all the Halloween fucking costumes. Yeah. You got, you know, you got the scream mask face guy too, yes. you know, I don't know. Looks like, a, no. um, look like Stan or, or uh, Cartman at the bottom, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. A... <laughs> yeah, that's just the one thing that really stood out to me though right away is that they all have that same scar, the same two scars yeah, that dude. Mahito has. I'm like, yo. So you guys, so wait, on? so wait, that yeah. kind of like fits, that kind of like works with with Mahito's uh, shape shifting ability, yeah, that he could be blended in with all these people. I oh, almost thought that like Mahito and uh, damn, I'm blanking on uh, Ghetto. Yeah, are the other two? They're at the other two locations. Like mm. they they might even be just solo dolo at the other two barriers and they're about to fucking you know what I'm saying whoever try and come through they're gonna be like oh what's up yeah but see we so, in bump. I feel like well, I feel like Mahito and or Geto are gonna show up to where Gojo is because Gojo yeah. can Gojo is waxing all three of them yeah he, he should I mean he should just territorial expansion <laughs> yeah. and that call it a day yeah, you know but what right does that like, mean, what does that mean for the people like that the civilians though like if they get caught up in a territorial expansion they'll probably just evaporate yeah who knows or like their minds <laughs> yeah. just like overload yeah. they yeah. just lose their head yeah, just, he... i don't know their brain pours out of their ear yeah i feel like <laughs> i feel like the ability for a territorial expansion is like indiscriminate for whoever's caught inside of it i don't know if you can like yeah. choose who's an enemy and who's not that would be crazy i wouldn't put it past kojo to be able to do something like that but that seems kind of too busted yeah <laughs> you know 
So yeah. who's going to the other incidents? I know Team May May is. So May May, you, 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 and we, we, and Yuji, we, we, yeah, we, we, Monsieur, and Yuji are going to one. So like that one made sense to me that they would be in two different places because Yuji can have his rematch with uh, Mahito. Uh, Man, you know, so do we think that's I, where it's going. <laughs> I, I, I dude, know. after Mahito's fight with Mekamaru, I feel like Yuji doesn't want it. Yeah, probably not. But who knows? <laughs> but I like, mean... but he did so well in the Goodwill event arc, or in the Junpei arc against yeah. uh, against Mahito, though. But maybe yeah, that's like Mahito because of... don't want it. Well, he didn't. Sakuna. Yeah, yeah. Sakuna. I was gonna say he can't get caught. Exactly, he can't get caught. Don't, Mahito don't expansion. want it with Sakuna. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that's bro. maybe some justification for you know maybe yuji being able to fight mahito and actually grow because yeah we would say like oh he's definitely clapping him with territorial expansion yeah he told ain't using it because he knows okay. if he, that sakuna is gonna that activate off, yeah sakuna yeah but see like i'm gonna be like can sakuna use demonic territory in yuji's body or is that just like inside of the domain inside of yuji's body because we only ever saw him use his territory uh sakuna's territorial expansion like while he was inside of of yuji right yeah so like yeah, if he so yeah so if the if they body switch and now it's sakuna in real life in yuji's body <laughs> is he gonna be able to, to to summon the demonic fairy tori i don't know that's, that's just that's, like like naruto you go to some kind of plane with like that's yeah. within your mind you have yeah. astral projections that are there i yeah. guess i don't i don't know like that's like the only thing i could think of but sakuna didn't even need demonic fairy tori when he first fought mahito he literally just walked out of his territory and said what's going on what are we yeah. doing yeah <laughs> like, like that's that's and then, and then, and then that was it yeah man that's what crazy going? what an arc we have coming up for us you guys yeah yeah how long yeah. do you think this arc's gonna be 20 25 chapters that sounds nah. good i think that's good. 30 max I mean, this is the first really big arc i think it'll bring us right into the triple digits around 115 yeah yeah, hundred uh, chapter hundred is gonna be. What they I don't know how manga Kai always seem to do it, but they <laughs> yeah. hit those dead on heat on a hundred. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> so. I I feel like yeah, that that's gonna be some point yeah. of the climax. That that feels that's right the to ceiling. One hundred is the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I mean, just like I don't know. I have a hard time. We'll see. It could be around seventeen to you know round it up to a yeah. hundred. Yeah. But like the shibuya incident part 17 like <laughs> it might I don't, know, I don't know if it'll be that long it, it, it might it might go from shibuya incident to because you remember how uh it hidden inventory was like 13 chapters and then it went to premature death it could be like shibuya incident you know for x amount and then after that it's gojo yeah. ceiling party well, yeah. for the rest <laughs> yeah. yeah something like that yeah 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 but i mean i don't so. know that's all that's all i had for i think that uh yeah that about wraps it up and uh we can we can probably move on to samurai 8 chapter 26 like samurai good stuff and uh kotsuga i mean this is kind of a few pages in but this caught me off guard kotsuga is just randomly as fuck the air to some like powerful family yeah yeah huh? yeah, yeah. yeah what was up with yeah. that like yeah, that made sense he's a prince i get he's like yeah the he's the fail prince yeah yeah he, yeah. he could they wanted to make it Kiri. Same, right? he was too bitch made yeah yeah <laughs> it was negative it was it was that two percent or less so they're like we're not yeah. even gonna try with him just yeah. banish his bitch ass and we'll start <laughs> over fucking yeah. he got that same note that fucking odin got disowned bow <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, for sure. But I, uh, I really definitely did want to see Hachimaru be the one to, to put a stop to this. You know. Yeah. I really appreciated that it wasn't Dharma or Ryu, and that you know Hachi was actually jawed his ass, and he's like, he's We've like, been calling for what it. you doing, boy? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, Kiko said Thought it. you was gonna catch me lacking. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think Kiko said it in the last episode. He was like, Hachimaru's gonna steal off his ass. Oh, I said that yeah. like five weeks ago. Yeah, like, you yeah, you've been it's, saying it's, it. Yeah, been, yeah. it's been needed to come. Like yeah. you can't just keep yeah. slick talking me in front of my girl like this and all then, week. Now you trying have... to take her hostage? I know. Well, I was also saying that if he falls for that same shit twice, like he yeah. definitely needs, he definitely needed to be the one to yeah. stop this here. Yeah, because otherwise, the there. the entire lesson that other dude taught him about 
like your princess is your yeah. first priority yeah. yeah just goes right down the drain i so need to see more of commander sen and the galaxy police I that is that such is. a that cool is. angle like that yeah. i mean like because it could just be daruma and co you know versus benki and, and i mean like the situation is would be a lot crazier if that was the case but i mean just having commander sen and like this you know galaxy police like sniper there it's just like a really cool feeling you know also kotsuga keeps winking at ryu you guys notice that this is the second it, time that he's winked when he said something about i oh. keep wondering about that or if he's like grimacing when he makes his faces ah you know <laughs> yeah, like, maybe. but the sound effect that the sound effect that that we're getting is wink though yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right so, so it's like it, it's just further reinforcing the idea that we have that this is some kind of like blackmail situation where Kotsuga is playing Benki's game until he has the opportunity to pull some kind of fast one, you know what I mean? I think he clearly has something up his sleeve and Ryu's amnesia is playing, you know, a part in the misdirection of Kishimoto's storytelling, right? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm almost 100% certain that the way that it happened was Ryu either won the last tournament or was a contestant in the last fighting festival and Benki like got his key which like triggered this amnesia and Kotsuga was like, don't worry, bro, I'ma get your key back. Like, or some shit, you know what I mean? Like, I'ma I'm a do, I'ma I'm a make this right, you know, in some kind of way. And and Ryu just doesn't remember because he's amnesia, he's an amnesia now. You know what I mean? And and I think that he Or he doesn't have amnesia. amnesia at all and he's been playing it off to now he's about to turn and just pop full power, slash the fuck out of bowling. Oh, oh, damn. Bro. I mean, <laughs> Dharma handling that ass. Congo if Yasha this, yeah, dog pad. man beat yo. Hell yeah. And uh Ben Key <laughs> sensor like right away. Oh, yeah. That's, told him that's what great. it was. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. It's that magnetic field that hurls Exce the targets away. Accelerates yeah. electron rotation and creates a magnetic field that propels yeah. forward like a bullet. Yeah, that shit is raw. Like what? That, shit is definitely that doesn't raw sound raw like dog time. paddle to me. <laughs> yeah, I know that sounds like proton rifle. <laughs> right. <laughs> sounds like Gao cannon and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Gao, Gao, Gao. Gao. Yeah. But yeah, that Kotsuka thing is definitely uh he's trying to is definitely keeping it ambiguous where like you could just take it as like yeah, I was betraying your ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But He's like, when you've got a good plan, you keep it a secret. So it's Wink. like, what really is your, we really don't know. He still could be, you know, waiting in the wings with something else. Yeah, I think he's playing, I think right. he's playing the part. The while, triple cross bull buddy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's playing the, the part while Ben has got his eyes on him. But I think, I think behind the scenes, he's, he's trying to, he's trying to set something in motion. I think he, I think he's good, still a good guy, Coach, you and just the fact that we can have like this conversation about like what's really going on because it, it, Kishimoto's, you know, making it pretty clear, you know, like, oh, it's a double cross situation. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of ambiguous now. Like, well, what's going on? Like, the, where where is his, you know, morality lie? And I just think it says a lot about the series. You know, like I see a lot of people complaining about a lot of things in the story, like from the pacing to Hachimaru's power ups. And but I think their issue is that they're trying too hard to compare it to other stories like Dragon Ball or, or or Naruto obviously which is easy to do but like also I feel like they're trying to make too much sense of like what's going on in the moment you know when the future of the story could end up making sense of a lot of of, of these complaints that they have like I see a lot of like yeah. why are things happening like this and why are things like that and it's like just let the story tell you eventually and enjoy it for what it is like when the story started off with that art people were like oh, i'm about to quit the book you know and now the art is steadily and in, in, you know increasing in quality people complained about how slow or or weak the beginning of the story was and, and now the pacing is faster and now it's more exciting and now people are complaining that it's too much it's like let's relax <laughs> like you know people are you know are of course entitled to their opinion and if you don't like it then you don't like it but i feel like samurai 8 is under you know much more intense microscope than than like any other series you know what i mean and it's yeah. and i feel like it has kishimoto. more i feel like it has more to do with how people feel about kishimoto than it than, than how they feel about the actual story so you know sure. it's, it's yeah. not naruto it's it's not dragon ball it, it's something else like let's yeah. let's just see what it does well <laughs> it's almost in a, a no-win situation because it's like if you love naruto you're gonna be like this isn't naruto and yeah. if you hate naruto you're gonna be like fuck this guy and just find a reason <laughs> to hate it yeah, so it's yeah. like there's no way to win really yeah. it's exactly. in a bad spot really you yeah. know so 
Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think it's great. But I mean, a few things I wanted to talk about is how damage keys lowers the telomere value. Or yeah, what telomere? is that? Yeah, I don't know. Some. Yeah. Is it is it an energy level? Like, are, can you extract like energy from these keys or something that that's needed? Like a um, a you know, like a power source. Level. Like, like think, think, I mean, think of it as like a power source, you know, like you got to you plug one of these keys into your fucking, you know, holder <laughs> ship and then yeah. that powers your fucking ship for six months or so. I, I don't know. Like, yeah. I mean, is that what telomeres are fucking well, uh, energy source? Yeah, maybe that's really, I just overall value. I was thinking like, obviously, a, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's clean key is going to be worth a lot more than one that's like sliced or it's a currency yeah i mean those are the two the the two options i would think and and that's why i mean if it's a currency there there has to be multiple currencies i mean this is a whole galactic story here so you know i mean there's gonna be multiple currencies on the same planet much less or yeah uh, in the same you know galaxy so right right so i don't know maybe maybe there's one universal uh gal um currency because I, I i love like trading and all that kind of shit like so like yeah. if we got into that a little bit that would I mean, be super I, I'd be sick. For it, yeah. galactic trading yeah. i mean i wouldn't want to spend like a lot of chapters on it but right. i would like to see you know i don't know whatever some kind of yeah. you know currency system that would be a that would be right another down. big homage like, to yeah. uh to star wars too if it, if it did go into into galactic trade and shit like that yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah okay. yeah i feel like uh any galactic story should kind of have some kind of galactic trade involved and just politics know? in general yeah because it's like especially yeah. when there's like multiple factions involved like with these yeah. schools and shit and like we're yep, probably gonna definitely. get a whole federation and a whole resistance and all types of shit <laughs> like mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be Is Kishimoto great. ready ready for another <laughs> ten years, fifteen years? You know, man. <laughs> I don't it's know. Crazy. I feel like I feel like if George Lucas is still pulling strings here and there, that, that Kishimoto. I don't, I don't know. Eastern storytelling is just different, like that. You know. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Um. Whatever. What else is there? Uh, the Clash panel. I mean, we should probably. Oh talk yeah, about we gotta talk panel. about a couple other things here, dude. Hachi Maru slicing that giant humanoid holder. Yo, First of all, that, that action humanoid. panel with it shooting the rockets out of his shoulder was cold blooded, fam. Yeah, it was so it's good. Tight to see like all different kinds of holders like that. Like, yeah, the humanoid the holders is huge. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about just the that like missile deck on its back. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's damn. so crazy. Like, that's crazy weaponry to see on a holder, but like you really can do all kinds of shit with it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tight to see that we're gonna be seeing all kinds of like. Yeah. We already got glimpses of it with snipers and stuff, but just yeah. any kind of weaponry, really, you can imagine. Hachimaru stepping off a of Hayatsuro with the yeah. The, the, oh man, it's so it's so good to see Hachimaru actually. And and I, I feel like some people like think that that might not have been Hachimaru that did the damage on that thing, and I definitely think that it was. I definitely think it's definitely. obvious that that he that he sliced yeah. it in half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it shows like him jumping off high and then it's split in half. But you don't actually like mm. you can like it's a it's, the paneling was like kind of like weird on it. I I do agree with that. I was yeah. trying to Where figure out did he come them. from the front or yeah. did he come from the back? And he came from the back after yeah. you know uh, I got the booth review. The, they had to review it and tell me which way it came from. <laughs> yeah. On that last panel, you can see like Kotsuga was behind them. Yeah. You can see, behind their guards and shit they're still mm-hmm. standing yeah. in front of it it's, it's weird yeah, so he yeah. like sliced it turned around <laughs> said, what's up <laughs> but dude it's just still so amazing to see hachimaru like actually like doing like real shit and, i mean i guess he yeah, has been yeah, i mean like yeah. he cut a moon in half like 15 chapters ago so <laughs> i mean like with the help of daruma but i mean like just like he's just kind of like been being like punked by 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 you know ryu and and you know like to a to a certain degree you know commander sen or whoever that was that uh or not sen but mm-hmm. whoever that was that took you know and hostage for a moment it just seemed like he like he cut the moon in half and then like all of a sudden he's like weak you know in the training with with ryu and then like kind of like at the start of this fighting festival he's kind of weak but now he's like you know starting to activate again it's just like different moments of like seriousness right like when your life is on the line obviously the best of what you can do is going to come out and then in training situations you might hold back a little bit more but it's cool to, to see that when the chips but like when you really need him in your corner, Hachimaru is gonna go crazy. Is basically what oh, I yeah. would say. Yeah. That's a a good thing to bring up as far as with how strong Hachimaru already is, just like how strong like these samurai are. 
this story could be a lot shorter than we think it is you know yeah. this story could be this story could be you know 150 chapters because you know it's it, you just think like hachimaru already is pretty fucking strong yeah right? like, yeah and, and he's like yeah. not he doesn't really know shit about what he can do or what you know like i mean because the real body of atta has to be able to just cut planets like nothing right and and that's what level hajimaru obviously is going to be like so th- is that i just think that that could come so quick it could come really right quick Atta just jumped through a moon yeah. Like like in chapter 10, 11. And that was a doppelganger that, you know, that's yeah. a shadow clone that he sent, you <laughs> yeah. know, like yeah. sent a tenth of his power shadow clone. Yeah, he's yeah. jumping like, through moons. So that's I mean crazy. So yeah, I mean we could we could be shit, man. Just <laughs> crazy OP, you know, galactic fucking explosions. I'm ready know, to see it. it. I'm ready yeah. to see it, man. Giant space holder battles. Yeah. We need a new Goku. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are stronger than dragon ball characters like pretty soon it definitely like, does feel like that right maybe not quite yet but yeah. pretty soon sure, like atta definitely is like, yeah. he, 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 he definitely is it's chapter 10 making frieza look like a toddler <laughs> yeah. atta shoulder and moons and shit <laughs> yeah just shoulder checking moons like <laughs> I think that about uh, yeah. sums it up, though, for Samurai We can probably move on to uh, Chainsaw Man, Chapter 46, Massacre, Melody. And what a chapter. Like, Ratsay is, is just going crazy with it. Like, she Dude. literally, the way she to- took her head <laughs> through it, she said, boom. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, and then she fucking headless body that just said, cone, she said. <laughs> <laughs> tap tap <laughs> bop, bear hugged his ass and he's like oh shit yeah. oh. I'm like yo this bitch is awesome. dude the red state is so that. OP and like to bring it back a little bit yeah the whatever mold that curse, was yes that was what I was what, that say those was. dudes used yo yeah, that, that was like low quite, key super sick yeah. yeah like all you gotta do is keep these dudes alive yo yeah. you they got have some raw support for them. <laughs> yeah he said put he said put the mold on the brain he, they're like it's not gonna work if they're dead I was like oh my god bro what do you mean yeah. they're just dead just do it anyway and try it <laughs> I mean I'm but but it seems like whenever humans use any kind of like devil ability it, there's like a huge detriment to them so i understand them wanting to like conserve you know like whatever you know abilities because it because it, it's like it seems like they have to take damage they have to like cut their wrist or they have to bleed in yeah. some kind of way in order to use just bit so. themselves but yeah. i don't know maybe there's more to it than that like yeah. you, you guys do it's kind of off screen like you yeah. know i don't know they just take some kind of damage you yeah so it makes sense for them to be like oh hold on if she's dead you know don't hurt yourself to try to put mold on a dead brain like i get that but it's just like man just yeah. be sure this bitch is coming in and blowing everything away put yeah. the mold on the fucking brain bro <laughs> you know and, and and it's so put the mold everywhere yeah and this chapter dude this chapter is so cool because it really felt like a horror story you know what i mean like a horror movie you know like yeah. suspense like thriller you know what i mean and it's like how strong is red say really you know like is she a specific kind of bomb or is she just the fear of all bombs because if so that means that she could be hydrogen or nuclear bomb level if when it really comes mm-hmm. down to it you know what i mean like is it because it, it, you know like it, it, it's not really specified like are you a grenade like level strength i mean like we've been seeing like varying intensities of, of bomb damage like if she really like a like an atomic bomb yeah you know what i mean like if it really came down to because she just nuked the continent <laughs> and say fuck y'all and if so how is the gun devil stronger than that <laughs> like what if the bomb devil is really what did all this damage and they're just blaming the gun devil because like doesn't the doesn't the damage that the gun devil did when they were doing that exposition like from makima telling everybody about the gun devil doesn't that sound like bomb damage <laughs> sure i mean just when you think about it yeah bomb devil sounds way the fuck stronger than gun devil I no matter how you God. slice it I mean, almost everything sounds stronger than gun, gun the way devil. they describe the image man was that it like everything was just obliterated it, yeah like, literally a split second yeah shit just got leveled yeah and like in multiple spots across the globe yeah that Maybe. sounds way more like a bomb than a gun 
Maybe the gun ah, devil like turns that. into a cannon that shoots the bomb devil. Bro, the they tandem. got a double team. They got a double team. Docking. <laughs> Docking. <laughs> Dockingu. Docking. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the gun devil is about to be crazy. Yeah, dude. I, but I Red like saying getting a little x-rated in this chat oh yeah like, oh yeah she's she's working with the panda that dude was gross as hell too yeah. you're kind of easy on the eyes like bitch she's trying to bite your head off and blow you up i i don't know what she gets like at right now. she gets like multiple panels where she's just got like bare ass just full, <laughs> just just all over the place and then at the end this dude wants to just draw some panties on her like they were there the whole time <laughs> it's the panty devil back man on. She she I'm assimilated like, back with her regular body. Yeah. Well, that that was my big question is that she separates from her human body entirely. Like since she just blows the head off and throws yeah. the head, and then she's a separate thing where the body, the headless body, is running on its own to kamikaze a guy over here. So it's like that's broken. Her, she's literally yeah. separated from the body, and yeah. the body is just her own fucking explosion. Doll. Yeah. Yeah. And she's blowing up at the head. She's blowing up at the body while they're separated. It's like, how do you fight that? Oh, and and the know. cone and the one dude hit the cone on her and ate her whole body. How did yeah. that not win? It just blew up and destroyed. Well, the... Because that devil was like, "Yo, this ain't the. This ain't it, chief. This is tasty. Can't be eating this whole. <laughs> yeah, it's too. This is gross. Shit about to come back on me, G. Yeah, and it, and I feel like I feel like these wolf these cone wolf like devil contracts are really weak because when aki was fighting the the sword devil he ate the sword the katana devil too and the katana devil just, ah, and just like busted out of aki's yeah wolf, you yeah. know what i mean it's they're like, probably relatively low level uh jutsu but they use them like trump cards <laughs> jutsu shiki, jutsu shiki. Yeah. same thing but yeah but but see that's what that's what megumi says too he says cone and then does this yeah that's yeah. crazy yeah yeah very similar that's crazy. um so you got those uh other two like devil hunters one had his arm blown off and he's still trying to go and then his yeah. homeboy shows up and uh then <laughs> red say just has both their heads and jumps in front What's of the cracking? car like oh. yo all right well these guys were trash <laughs> so i know you had that thing where i'm sorry continue well i'm just saying it's about to be her versus angelmon and aki next time dude that's gonna next be chapter. so sick like yeah. I'm, I'm really curious to see Angelmon fight here. I know. I, I really need it. I really need to know. <laughs> it's just gonna be wing attack, like... wing attack. <laughs> <laughs> Aerial ace. Yeah. I was gonna say I know you recently had that post where you asked what are your, uh, what manga panels made you have goosebumps. That was uh, that, that was that was panel Justin. of her. Yeah bottom panel of her just all black just her face with that oh, wicked man. ass smile yeah, that's definitely one in front of the car yes. she said <laughs> gotcha motherfucker yeah that's big goose look at this shit boy. yeah it's yeah. two weeks in a row with crazy faces you know i or, know or, was that was that uh mahito last week or was that two yeah weeks it ago? was mahito uh, last week yeah yeah last week yeah mahito said ah, i'm in the cockpit <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, that's wild. Though. Yeah, dude. That's that's oh, all I got for it. I'm just excited. Too. I'm excited to see this next fight pop off. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but uh yeah, we definitely got the whole uh the whole cheek view in page fifteen <laughs> on the bottom left, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple, yeah. I thought when the dude came through and saved buddy and he said cone through his hand. You oh. can see cheeks. I can't even remember. Cheeks. We can see <laughs> cooch. No, I just of course not. <laughs> That's why he had to put the panties on in the last panel because she landed on the road and just, yeah. she's in. You're seeing lips. Yeah. <laughs> There's no getting away from it. He was like, I gotta throw the panties on. Holy now. smokes! She got the and out. also, <laughs> just the art was kind of all over the place with that like last like because her, if you notice the the straps on her tank top are also, when she lands they're like coming off, but then in the next panel. They're just back on. Yeah, it's see, just, this this is this is what I wanted. Actually, you reminded me. This is what I wanted to talk to you about because I remember last week or the week before when she like first transformed into her her bomb devil form. You're like, where did these like bombs come from? Like, where did this apron come from? But if you remember when she first blows herself up, there's like that like bio weave, you know, of her regenerating. 
And mm -hmm. I think yeah. that has to do with like where all of these clothes and all of these like extra things are coming from. I think it's like a, I think it's like a bio weave, you know, like regenerative, yeah. like, you know, like healing factor that like just makes that shape to fit her aesthetic, I guess. But, but yeah. yeah, I don't think it's just, I don't think it's a, it's mistakes from the author or the author just, or the, 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 the mangaka just drawing shit for the sake of it. I think that's actually a part of her ability to just shape herself the way that she needs to. Yeah. Well, I mean, now you did, take a look at this last, this last page. Cause you can see the straps hanging out the side here. It's weird. She's yeah. got bare back <laughs> straps, like kind of flying off the sides like yeah. that. Yeah. Next panel. Like she took the time to just. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. It caught me. I'm like, why is this is this art's kind of all over the place? It's like, What's really happening? Oh, Are her yeah. clothes falling off or is she clean? What is going on? <laughs> hey, I don't know, but I do know that her alt is she's about to queef an explosion dead at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she gonna be blowing ping pongs out that thing. <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> oh, she's hey, like... <laughs> hey, why, why, why? You know, like it, it took a long time to get these panties on. We had like a half of oh. half a whole chapter of this. It's like <laughs> I, I was confused. I, I didn't. I wasn't even gonna bring it up since Eagle did. It's like we're gonna go down this route of does she got panties? Does she got got panties? Oh, I don't know. She's Find out to... next time. You know? <laughs> she's crazy. She's like... about to fucking jam out with her clam out. He definitely. That's a... That's a full clan, full he power clan. Just had him on the whole time because it's like, <laughs> why are they just there all of a sudden at the end? But it's I fine. don't know. It's fine. Yeah, it's just it's it's oh, funny. Oh god, the ult it's killed a funny me. Thing. The ult yeah. just sent me ping pong balls. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we can probably move on with that to uh, yeah, Promise Neverland chapter one hundred and fifty-seven. The world is mine. Sure. And uh, mm. I just want to say the like, I think that the good faction of the the organisms or the demons, whatever you want to call them, um, are like low key, the 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 ultimate good guy in this story. Mm. Like, because if you think about it, the religious ones. Yes. Yeah. And he's like, you know, we are all a part of one another. We all, yeah. life is borrowed. It's, it's a continuous cycle. All, yeah, the circle of life. Exactly, bro. Like, we yeah. are all connected through yeah. the hunt. Yeah, it's just, they, like, they. That's they, the realest shit we've heard in the story so far. Yeah. I and, think that is honestly the truest, like, goodest yeah. faction of this story. Even the humans. Yeah. Are like, their motivations shit. are selfish. Yeah. You know, they're like, we want to live. And like these motherfuckers shouldn't exist. Yeah. In actuality, like they're just organisms trying to live their best life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, why not just like let everything exist in the way that a Darwinistic, you know, society should, where if you're prey, you get eaten. If you're predator, you eat and continue that circle. That's actually really cool. And that actually plays uh, into the original, you know, exposition that we get of Sung Ju's character, you know, right after they left Gracefield House. Yeah. When he's talking about how you know, like he doesn't want to hunt, you know, or he doesn't want to eat humans that, you know, were manufactured, you, you know, for la you know, for for lack of a better word, I guess. I, I don't know any other way to say it, but like they, it's not natural. They didn't they didn't have like a regular life, you know, and then to be eaten in like a hunting kind of way, they were bred to be. Eaten. Yeah. So they're like, that's that's kind of weird. I don't really like that. Like that's going against like, you know, this religious, you know, sect of ours. So. Yeah, that's cool the, to get that link that, there. It blew me for a second because I'm like, damn, like it really had me like reflecting. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm like, man, like, gee, like we're we're the dominant species, right? But like yeah. if if another species came up and was the apex predator, like that's the way of light. And like we yeah, yo, what would we do? say that, like, oh hey, we're the we're the top dogs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just the food chain. Yeah. Yeah. So with these with these organisms, like yeah. that's just the food chain. But like, it's funny. Yeah. It's a weird dichotomy to where like if if something was hunting us, yeah, like in our minds, they're kind of automatically bad, even though that it's the way it goes. Well, that's the food chain. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like these are questions that like I'm I was like, asking like after like really say they're the bad guy. Man. Yeah, Damn. like 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 these are questions that you know that get brought up with you in in other series that we've seen like Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Titan. 
you know like that was the first time that i really was like yo what if there was just another you know race of of things that were stronger than us of giants like we could do nothing about it you know what i mean like do we care you know when a cow is like oh no like i mean like vegans do and like vegetarians do but like right the general like consensus is like so what you know what i mean like we gotta eat bro yeah it's a chicken it's a cow you know like we're you know like we don't really care because we're the tightest ones you know what i mean and then like meruem's you know monologue in uh in hunter hunter in the chimera and saga like right at right when he takes the meat plantation and he's you know and and the 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 like little dancer girls are like you're not gonna eat us are you like we're people and he's like check it out dude you don't your care food. yeah your food like you don't care food. about what a pig says to you you don't care about what a chicken says to you like why should i care do something about it if you don't want to be eaten oh you can't okay in my belly <laughs> yeah yeah you know so it's like now Go and it's ahead. crazy Flat. and it's crazy how much shit i was talking about emma like earlier in the series like i was like fuck these demons man like blah, blah, dee, dee, dee. and then now i'm just like do these demons suck or not <laughs> you know like nah. obviously like rivalima's on some yeah. fuck shit but Nah, yeah, like just the blast them all. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You want to say, just get them out of yeah. here. Just, just blast them. Like it, it does All this, all this good versus evil talk is just a waste of time. If you're trying to eat me, you're getting blasted. That's the end, yeah. of, the end of the story. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going down. You know, trying Obviously. to survive. Yeah. That's how it is. You Obviously, know? Like, it's fight or flight. Like, what's up? We, like, I'm, I'm going down swinging. Obviously, you're not just gonna eat me for free. Well, that's but, how like, it was. Am I, do I hate you? Is the question. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you're trying to eat me. Yeah, I hate yeah. the fuck out of you. I don't, give, I don't got time for philosophy yeah. here. Today. Yeah, yeah, you're uh, right. <laughs> and, and, and no matter what, though, like, that's that's what this story was. I mean, they they, they were at war. They were at yeah. war and came to an agreement, and yeah. and that was the only way that they could both live in peace. I, and well, the only option is to go back to war, basically. But they were only at war because of the human perception of the situation. You feel me? Yeah. To the organisms, it's the hunt. Yeah, it's nature, baby. <laughs> but until it's until the they thing. until they leave the you know until they leave that religious belief behind, and then it turns into like a royal, you know, like societal like situation where we everything belongs to us. You know what I mean? And that's and that's right. That yeah. was after the promise. Right? That was that was after what the Sanji promise. was yeah. saying is that point kind of the uh, the crux point where it's like things started to turn and right. And that's yeah, that's why I really appreciated the exchange between Sung Ju and Legra Belima in this chapter. And they have about like how like each of them abandoned their ideals for different reasons, right? And, and that mm-hmm. was just like super well written to me because it's like Sung Ju's religious beliefs or the religious ideals were the original way, you know. And then mm-hmm. when his house left that behind for power, he stayed true to that ideal. And then Legra Belima, on the other hand, is arguing for the house. But she killed her dad and took all the power for herself. So it's like, who's really in the wrong between those two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. that's who's in the wrong. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's it's what I what I wanted to focus on really is how Musica tells you know Ray, Norman, and Emma to leave. Like they can handle it. Like she's about to alt here herself, which hey. is she about to activate somehow and do something? Or, or is she just, just talk have no like, jutsu? yeah, yeah. I mean, because obviously, no I, I don't. Queen's got her ass right here, ready to, you know, smash her head. No, it's Musica, so she's about to hit her with the fucking Clefairy joint. Yeah, <laughs> she's about to hit her with the Jigglypuff, the Jigglypuff. Yeah, <laughs> about to sing on her ass. Yo. <laughs> and then up B or whatever it ba- is. Bash the bash the head to the, <laughs> make the symbols and the fucking Apu's bitch ass. Oh man. Play the keyboard on the teeth. Dude, what if that would be crazy? Dude, I didn't even think about like music having like any kind of like ability or ult or anything like that. What if she does I don't, turn up? I don't think chapter? it would be I don't think it would be music, but I don't yeah. know. I think that she she's a pacifist yeah she has something obviously to say that that can stop the queen like there's something that that she's she's got a bomb you know she got it she's got yeah. something she's gonna drop that here like, like i got you know i don't know like i poisoned my own blood and like we've i've oh. ruined the curse the only cursed blood there is or so i, I don't know like and then ready she lets to... herself get eaten and then like rivalima eats her and then dies from poison that would be something. super like chimera ant ending-esque <laughs> 
<laughs> there's gotta because, be something yeah because like Valima has to die from poison because it's like okay because sung ju is in action here and it's really cool to see him fight you know for real for the first time even though like he's kind of getting washed but i yeah. mean just the fact that he's doing as decent as he is like when everyone else got one shot basically is is saying something about how strong he is but like just the fact that he has that like monologue inside him you know in, inside of himself where he's like okay the core has to be in the abdomen like he deduces that and then slices the abdomen entirely and nothing happened and she's like so what yeah it's in the abdomen but obviously that doesn't matter so the, the situation Which turns a into that great. adhesive shit yeah but it's like where was the core if he if it was in the abdomen and he destroyed the abdomen i don't know but how small is the core i guess is the question yeah but, elder Tagoro, he's moving it around yeah 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 for sure but it's like it's like dude it's, i don't know it's 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 just that maybe it's really small in the abdomen and hard to you know and when she gets hit like and turns into that adhesive shit like yeah i don't know maybe it like, like cushions I, the blow and like doesn't it's not like an impact as, as much as it is like a assimilation like yeah it's and it's it. it's not like a um firm shape you know it's yeah. more fluid and yeah. can you Malleable. know mold and yeah yeah definitely that's yeah. that's kind of how i was picturing it yeah i like that um, but that, yeah, that makes me think that like it, it has to come down to a poisoning situation. Like she's not going to die in combat. Like I feel like she has to die. Well, there could be something with the last question she asks. Like, why are you so desperate to fill your hunger? Like, maybe there's something that she knows. Like... I think Musica asked that. Yeah, Musica. Asked oh, okay, okay, that. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah to, to the queen. Like maybe yeah. Musica knows that like the queen is like overfilling herself or something, and she's going to like self destruct somehow. You know, all these fucking you know um people that she's eaten that she has those she, she she even said like she can call you know like tap their minds basically for the information oh. that they had when she ate them so i don't know maybe it's going to be like information overload to her and she explodes or something so that uh, means it's so then that means this is like judeo-christian like like religious shit because there's this big like thing about god and like this religious sect that sung is a part of and now your leg of Lima is as a glutton so it's like a it's like a like a seven deadly sins kind of thing where like her gluttony is going to get the better of her for like a poetic justice kind of situation inside of this religious belief that Sungju has where his religious ideals are going to end up being the reason why they win and her gluttony getting the better of her probably is what it's going to be. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Holy shit. Could be. Kayu Shirai. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Either and way, this... it's hype. The panel at the beginning, man, of the the circle of life, that shit was that shit was nice, man. That's the that's the best part of, of the chapter. Of the uh, the butterfly getting yes. the nectar, the fish eating the butterfly, yes. the crane the fish, the yes. fucking ferret eating the crane. You yes. know, and then the ferret dies and the flower grows. Yeah, that shit yes, was awesome. it was beautiful. And that shit hit different for me. I mean, yeah. I hate to go back to it, but just no, it's, yeah, that's yeah. That scene, the best part, is literally like if you change these the demons for humans and that human for like a deer yeah that is verbatim the kind of like yeah they're not there's no hatred in it for them it's yeah. literally just survival yeah and they're darwinism not... yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean that's yeah. that shit that's talking shit, about like, intellectual i'm you like know, beings oh, bro. yeah talking yeah. about higher level beings is the thing i'm like i yeah. went the whole time thinking these dudes are evil <laughs> got your soul like, snatched Whoa. in this chapter yo they can't <laughs> they're chilling they've I'm been like, building yo. up to this for a while though so this isn't this wasn't as big of a shock to me just because like i've been i've been like kind of like a little teetering a little bit more on the fence like with on every, the fence of yeah. yeah with every chapter that i comes mean out ever later. since we meet musica and sungju that's yeah. the, what we're supposed to kind of feel and and yeah. like i don't know maybe i just don't have like this defined sense of good and evil because i'm just yeah. like i don't really i don't really look at either of these you know factions as yeah. good or evil I you've always been kind of gray in that department yeah i guess um i don't know <laughs> I that's a bad I'm, thing Not, yeah. i'm a ronin i, I don't know <laughs> I think <outlaw>. that, <laughs> yeah i think the humans in this story that have the outlook of like we just need to kill these demons because they're evil they're definitely the evil ones yeah no because they're, they're trying to eat they're you. scared of not being on top anymore <laughs> so they want to do whatever they fucking can to stamp out other life that threatens them that's the bottom line yeah yeah and that shit i'm like god damn yeah holy shit though humans are fucking scum let's move on Jesus <laughs> Christ. 
<laughs> all right yeah, yeah but yeah i I'm think good. that about wraps it up for yeah. promise never mind i'm good yep um black clover baby black, yo black clover chapter 228 <laughs> arcane stage mages <laughs> why the fuck is magda not in the time skip squad <laughs> are you serious <laughs> I knew you were I'm done. Tabata, I'm done. I knew get it, you get were, it out. No. I knew Cancel you were going to be tight. Book. Oh, my. Cancel, Cancel the book. book. Seriously, like, get it the fuck out of here. Why oh. are you shitting on Magna? Tabata? I don't know, man. Don't there's know. a lot of people. Yeah, not this. The same no, time a, is passing for everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The same time is passing for everybody, but I I, I would. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, though. I'm with you though. Because luck's tighter. He always has it. <laughs> luck is luck is that guy though. Yeah. <laughs> it just that's just how it is. And and what I what I want to talk about really is how yeah. the Clover Kingdom has somehow distorted their magic or changed their magic into non Yeah. You know. They abandoned like the natural path of magic through uh through gaining uh sustenance through like, you know, um natural mana yeah so they're 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 yeah, which they're gives them access to different right kinds of them. magics like metals yeah. and mercury and yeah. you know like other chains and darkness shit, and which time was, which was yeah like darkness and time which was amazing exposition to get there i've been needing that yeah because if you stay it made sense because if you stay drawing your power from the natural mana around you it's going to stay with the same attributes of yeah. natural elements yeah but that yeah that was crazy that exposition that we got that on, was uh, incredible man steal the chain eccentric spatial magic yes dude i was i was so excited for that i was surprised for that darkness i you would think that's one of the more along the lines of natural you know yeah yeah but i guess you know there is no actual darkness element like it's yeah, there's, it's there's just absence of light yeah right or is light but yeah that's crazy yami Yami out here. Yami is. We always knew that he was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's. Got cool. mentioned before William Vengeance. Got yeah. mentioned before fucking Charlotte Rosalay. Uh, yeah. 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 What's up with this dude just forever dookieing? <laughs> like, yeah, this is like the fifth time. Like he's got IBS. <laughs> like, for real. what's good with buddy? Like. <laughs> Send our boy some Metamucil, man. We need to get him back in gear here. He needs just, to get yo. back on the training field. He's been on the toilet for weeks. Just stays dumping. <laughs> yeah, he does stay dumping for. He's gonna have to solidify that stool here, you know. He's <laughs> oh, get in some X lax and the uh, get it squatty out potty. <laughs> He's got to get them legs up. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm so ready for this time skip, man. Black Clover Shapudin is upon yeah. us, you guys. Yeah. What do you guys? Uh, yeah, let's I, talk about. Let's talk about what. Um, honestly, I'm ready for Asta to come back, just like swelt. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, let's talk about what we think. Like some of the post time skip characters are gonna be able to do. Like I feel like Asta is going to come out of this six month jump with like a real like Zangetsu like kind of situation here with his devil. You know what I mean? Like where he's yeah. like his devil has now manifested in a way where they can communicate with each other, where they have like a Karama kind of like, you know, like Karama and Naruto kind of like situation where it's like, all right, I'm gonna help you out. Let's go full devil, dude. Full devil Asta form is going to be gross. We're getting that. It, this, yeah, this arc. <laughs> I I am I mean, it's reluctant. Like literally the same. Like, yeah. I, I'm just saying, I am reluctant to feel like that is going to be Basto Lord Ichigo once it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just like, I just, it's just, that would be so, like, I don't know if I want to see that because, like, it's going to be hype and then we're going to look back on it and be like, oh. We need to have, we it's need to have. It's the same yeah. situation to where, like, it's the exact same dynamic where this thing is inside of you and yeah. wants to take you over. Yeah. And how eventually you, like, you know, bond with it and now find out yeah fine find with it and break tagging it's each other's in. now it's yeah. like Ooh. yeah <laughs> but that's that's every shonen Whatever. that's out right yeah. now that's fucking yeah. hero you got all for one that's fucking jujutsu you got sakuna like yeah got, i mean hachimaru has uh, a star inside of him for all we know <laughs> fucking he's got you know with the with the uh what the fuck do they need the the transformers they need that fucking big glow oh, thing inside yeah, the that's soul 
whatever the fuck yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, like that's yeah. it's like all all the every shonen right now other than one piece is some kind of being or some yeah inner, inner working inside they all saw naruto and said i need to get some naruto bread <laughs> <laughs> naruto my and guy, bleach had the right idea my guy leopold, this money. Huh? yeah leopold gets to be in the fucking flash leopold. <laughs> leopold leo leopold yo that's my guy yo i'm yeah, and dude. real too. I'm actually hyped as fuck. And also Charmy. Those dude, are probably Charmy, the, the four man. I'm the most hyped for are Leopold, Real, Charmy, and those are good uh, picks. And Zoro. It's like we already have. Well, yeah, I, I need to see like new Zora shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I know, can't like, be just these pre-packaged traps. Yeah, I need the next for. level Zora mode, whatever that's going to be. I'm sure Tabitha is going to deliver in a crazy way there because abilities are his fucking strongest suit in this fucking story, in my opinion. Is but, he gonna? Uh, is he gonna have a trap card eventually? He's gonna bro, need that. Stop, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, heart of the cards. But Rill's <laughs> magic has always been, honestly, one of the standouts to me because right away, you know, yeah. when they're like, he can Real manifest artistry. any attribute of magic with his paint magic. I'm yeah. like, yeah, oh, yeah, that's this hard. Dude is mad that is wild. Fucking beat. Yeah, that's hard. And then the second. We met Leopold also. He's been one of my favorite characters from Jump from the minute we met him too because he was right away had that whole interaction with Asta where he's like, what did he say? He's like, I'll allow you to be my rival. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, that shit killed me right away. I'm like, yo, nobody asked you shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's oh, good so good, man. I love Leopold. Yeah, dude, that's... So how about um, just Arcane Stage? Yeah, we got Sekre and we got Asta, our arcane stage level. Yeah, because they can't put a, a stage like because they they have other, un you know it, it's it's non quantifiable or it's you like know, a, it's yeah. like a special it's like specialization in hunter. Yeah, that's basically. definitely Charmy too. Yeah, see Charmy, I don't know maybe. Oh, no, Charmy's her... just fucking great. Yeah, here. yo, she'll yeah. Charmy shit. grade zero for sure, especially with her transformation into like her like older form. Yeah, her her dwarf form. Yeah, yeah. you know that's. Um, yeah, like that. With that the sheep, wolf, oh. mad OP, bro. That yeah. sheep magic is actually. Dude, mad the first fun. time I saw Charmy go crazy with the fuck and and like the big con the sheep with the fucking yeah, dude. I was like, this is the best character in this whole shit. Like, yeah. Charmy is a goon and always has been. And I just and I've always just loved how her magic is like. I'm going to put my mana into this food. When you eat it, it's like an elixir, not like for health, mm -hmm. but for mana. So like it's yeah. like it's 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 like Final Fantasy potions, you know what I mean? Like and, and that's that's just like I've been waiting for that in a magic story, you know what yeah. I mean? Like because I don't know of another one where you get mana, you know, replenished, like you know, like in a in a in like an established way, you know what I mean? Like you either get healed all the way in every way, your health and yeah. mana, or you know, but they they have healers and they have mana replenishers, and that's just fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they answered my question that I had a couple weeks ago about um, will this devil be stronger than the one they already fought? Yeah. And that, how, how would they really be able to fight it since they had the fucking first magic emperor plus the fucking, you know, they had licked. Yeah. Like they had all this they extra had Hashirama help. And Toby Rama. Yeah, they, they did. <laughs> and they, they, they had all this extra help and and even the princess says like yeah this this devil's probably stronger than the one you thought fought and it's like so what are you gonna do it, that there's, just there's, means that asta's devil is going to truly manifest yeah that's going yeah to be we need yeah, these dudes yeah it's bad really Lord. had hachirama and madara on their side like <laughs> yeah they did these dudes really yeah they needed the that two the ogs yeah so like how how are we gonna you know I, so i think it's gonna almost maybe be like um yu yu haka show uh where he's fighting sensui and ryzen takes his body oh, over man. you know something like that you know where it's not gonna be like vasto lord where he just like loses consciousness and he's just like some kind of fucking yeah killing machine you know i Do think we like want this though I mean, I don't. I, I just don't know it, what other options there really are because, like, okay, are Yami and like, you know, are all these Clover Kingdom people about to be coming, uh, you know, pulling up on this? Is is Julius? Is he going to get any of his strength back? 
you know, like... I don't want him to. Like, I want his fight with Lick to be, like, an actual, like, consequence, like, detriment. I don't want him to... I mean, like, he wasn't there for the last conflict. That's fine. And I guess that would be a long enough break from, from his character, I guess, to, to make it not gross. But, like, if he comes back in this arc and does... It, and you know, and plays a serious role. Like I'm gonna kind of be salty. It's like just well, play the role. Well, if he comes back and he's like a stage two, you know, or stage yeah, yeah. If he's yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, what is stage two time magic? Like, what is like, like yeah, I don't know. yeah you know, like it, it's like time oh, magic is just like, always busted. I feel like yeah, it's hard to say. Like because obviously experiences and shit pushed him to the point where he would learn new spells. He's reverted back to a point where he's had none of that so it's like he it's gonna take a while i feel like he can't yeah. there's there can't it can't be quick yeah i can't he, have him coming back to be like 20 anything. years yeah yeah he gets back to the point where he was because yeah. he went back like 20 and 30 years in the yeah. past yeah yeah so he can't just be like all right i'm back who pushed you to the point where no yeah yeah no the fuck out of here i can't do it um <laughs> I don't think in my opinion, he should have just been dead. Me I too. Think it would have been way better for me the too. story. Yeah, me too. I mean, but kind of shitty to say, but I mean, but I mean, if he's back, better, in, yeah, resounding like consequence and lesson for them to learn, and yeah, just a really problem with serious him, one. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. The only problem I have with him dying is who would have been Magic Emperor? Like Yami's the only other choice, and we can't have Yami. You yeah. know, like I mean, I don't know, Rosalie. You could have, yeah, could have been Rosalie. How, how can you, how can you have William when he just fucking tried to kill your whole fucking kingdom? Yeah, and yeah, he basically turned a blind eye to his be best buddy, the Elf Man inside yeah. me. Yeah, that's not no. it. I, I, you can't, you can't have him. Forgiveness. But I, no, I just, I, I just think it's cool that I just think it's no, I just think it's cool that Julius is is yeah. reverted to like an advisor. You know, he's got the information yeah. when you need it. You know, and he's he, he's just a guy who's there. He's not, you know, like. Yeah, not that's why this yeah, makes that's, sense. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the most glaring fun. things. Why it doesn't make sense though, because he should technically know none of this. Oh, you don't want his I don't, memory to be know there either. Any of, yeah. Oh, okay. I think his memory's there. I think all his spells are there. I just think he can't use them. He can't do it. He doesn't he have the mana. He doesn't oh, have the ability. Okay. I think I think he he could, he knows of it. He just basically needs to train. Yeah, and, and, and get his eight. mana pool up. And and that's what but he had one page of his grimoire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, with the with it's the really with the increase of your of your mana pool, probably comes more more spells just from scaling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably more pages come back like as your mana pool grows. But that's just more yeah. exposition on the power system that we need out of it, which I'm confident that he's going to start giving us because this chapter gave us an incredible exposition on why certain kingdoms have the magics that they have, and and that's just by. Black Clover like might be my favorite chapter this week is just because that's what I've been asking for since the beginning of the book. So, yeah. yeah. So is uh, Diamond Clover their Diamond Kingdom just dead? <laughs> like, did Mars they ain't. the whole shit. Mars is still there. That's all I know. Mars coming back, gonna do some shit. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, killing. I think I think Crollo spanked him. <laughs> Crollo got yeah. tired. Sailor Mars is still alive though. Yeah, Crollo. at least like all their army or something. Yeah, Crollo got tired of waiting for Togashi to come back. He's like, I'm gonna see what's cracking with Black Clover real quick. <laughs> Bounce over here, <laughs> hit this hit this 4D spell that I got in my fucking Maybe, book. He's already got a book. Yeah, yeah he's already got a book. He's got that a grimoire. Crazy. Yo, that would be nutty. Obviously, it's not that. All right. Uh, yeah. I think that about wraps it up for Black Clover. We're getting uh, Black Clover Shapudin. Yeah. <laughs> After Asta about to come back swole as fuck, I'm about to come back looking right. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Mimosa coming back looking right. Dude, she's like you know eight. Chill, bro. It's six months. They're not eight. Man. They're not. Um, man. Yeah, I think... Um, I, man, they better have all the just last thing is they better have all their nature powers like because noel yeah. has water and Mo, Mo, uh, mimosa has plant like they definitely need to have like increased nature power big yeah. time uh, just from chilling there for six months yeah 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 I'm i don't sure. know what's gonna happen with sec ray and finroll and asta asta yeah. obviously it's like the devil stuff getting finroll small is natural too lightning should be natural or no, Finral Finral is, is the special mage. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Luck though, but he's not there. Yeah, he's, right, anyway. I guess he's just gonna be Luck gouging definitely people like that. Lightning lightning. No, because that would be weird if if they if he had like the delete. Yeah, like, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Be, yeah, he needs to just stay as a portal as a 
transportation. He's just gonna do like Gatling and like each <laughs> each bunch of turtles are coming. Your oh, that would be cold, bro, dude. I'd He'd love have that. to get his physical maybe, ability. Maybe. Oh shit. Maybe he's on some uh some uh, shoot shit, bro. Where he can literally take away parts of your body and just that transport cool. them to other locate, yo. But but it doesn't do like but it doesn't do but it doesn't do like physical damage to you. So it's kind of like law. Oh. It's not like Langris where it's actually like ripping you apart, but making he can you like shoop and yeah. your shit's like where my eye go, G? Yeah, and your eyes over here, and now your vision's just starting yeah. for the rest of the fight, yo. That would That's be crazy. Wrong. That'd be pretty sick. I'm here for oh, it. Man. Leopold right, here. definitely getting uh yeah Le Leopold and, and Luck definitely getting true fire and lightning magic. They need to just give Leopold a fucking three D printer and let him go crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> wait no 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 Leopold the, the painter right? No no he's not. real is the painter. Real Leopold to... is the is fire. the younger brother of yeah. Fuego Leon's. Yeah that's right brother. that's right. Yeah. They need to give real the fucking three D printer and yeah. just let that man go nuts. Yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm done. But yeah, I'm done. Well, oh, mm. there's water, lightning, wind, and uh, fire. They actually have a. So yeah, I mean, at least Leopold, you know, Luck, and um, Noel, Noel are all gonna come out of this, and probably Mimosa Big because combos. they all have more natural, yeah, uh, lines of magic. Like they're all gonna come out of this. Wait, where's like, you know right now? Fucking, Floating he's, over the fucking somewhere. He's floating he's, he's over. over some he's shit. at spade already. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Or diamond. Maybe yeah. there he's at diamond and spade. Yeah. I thought he was over the corpse by Hodge. That's the demon's corpse by Hodge, I thought. Hmm. Could be what that was. It was over something like that. Anybody who has natural magic is going to get boosted by the queen's mana zone just from being there for yeah. six months. So like I feel like yeah. her mana zone is just yeah. going to make them. That is over free. Hodge. Yeah, okay. And I feel like, uh, you know, the other ones, they're obviously going to grow too, but I don't know how yeah. they can't get as much actual, like, specific help. They're going to have to kind of go their own route with themselves more so yeah. than, you know, get help from the other guys because yeah. they can't obviously tell them much about, you know, spatial magic or trap magic because they have right. no fucking idea. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that about wraps it up. Yeah, for sure. So we can now uh, we can move on with that too. Damn, I'm bleeding like that. Uh, uh. Chapter 249 of My Hero Academia, The Hellish Todoroki Family. Yeah, this chapter uh, and, uh, this chapter was kind of light. I, a lot of great yeah, character moments. Yeah, it was kind of light. There's a lot of great characters. I really love the reflection coming from from in, from Endeavor. Yeah, dude. Like he's he's got... reflection on to his dream yeah. and his family situation. I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's one of know? the best on-screen redemptions that, that we've ever seen in manga. Yeah. But um, at least in anything that I've read, Bakugo just giving us more examples of his, you know, of his growth and, and, and showing us again that like beneath all of that, like yelling and, and shit talking that he actually understands <laughs> how the world works. You know what I mean? He knows what's supposed to happen in certain situations and he might like cuss you out or, or threaten to fucking kill you. But like when it actually like matters, he's in here making all of the sense in this house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just great said. to see that. You're not supposed to expose your dirty laundry in front of guests! Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it's just like, okay. Huh. Alright, Bakugo actually yelling about something that matters this time. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing thing. yelling in other people's house. He about to get his ass blown the fuck up. Slamming doors in my house, shit, man, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't pay for these doors to be yelling in here. Yeah. I honestly thought it was hilarious when Endeavor's like, let's go, and they're like, yeah and then like it's their house and and baka goes just like why <laughs> that shit killed me stop bro. telling them that we're friends we're not friends <laughs> like i'm here because i'm trying to be He's a like, hero why are we, we here cool. dude. yeah now nah, baka go friend though he, he's chilling yeah nah he's, he's not he's not with his boys fucking uh kirishima yeah yeah and uh and denki Kaminari? Kaminari? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he fucks with cool. Kaminari, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are his boys. Kaminari and, uh, yeah, Kish Kirishima. Um, yeah, but yeah. you get to see you get to see the panel where, like, the, the three panels of each one of them all worn out. Like, they're training yeah. away mm -hmm. from, like, they're training at night or whatever, secretly is what I took from that. Because yeah. they're all, like, showing up in the morning early as fuck. 
yeah. and and they're all still like dirty and kind of like you know bruised or whatever you know yeah. all three of them so it looks like all three of them are just like putting in extra work overnight when they're not supposed to or whatever so that's that's the way i took that yeah, I, that's I cool. hope that's what's going on uh, I agree um, there. so um when we look at the family here we got Natsu and uh, Fuyumi both are ice quirks, clearly. Yeah, Fuyumi is wife wife mode for sure. Yeah, oh, obviously, yeah. big wife, making, big wife vibes. Making making all the all the fire, all the shit, <laughs> yeah. all swag over there. Yes, dude. Uh, and then Natsu gets mad. Uh, you know, he tries. He's like, "All right, I came, I sat down, I ate, I yeah. did as much as I could do. I'm out of here." Fuck him. You know, because he you know, he calls him Endeavor too. You know, he's yeah. like Endeavor. W- probably wouldn't allow you to eat my food anyway or whatever and just yeah. like you know i'm done i'm out of yeah. here fuck this dude yeah and and it's it, it was cool uh, you know i don't i, I don't know you know like, it, it's so it's so weird that natsu's the one that's mad yeah. uh fuyumi's kind of just like all right even though i'm i, I hold some kind of feelings towards him too i gotta just kind of do what i gotta do for the family so it's like yeah. whatever but she's always like acting like it's nothing you know like she's not like really mad or or shows any kind of like real uh emotion towards it and then he's the firstborn son so he's gonna have the strongest link to the mother i feel like yeah um so well is he the firstborn son (laughs) Hmm? yeah big info at the end but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that toya is the youngest toya is dobby how is he the youngest isn't oh yeah 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 if it, if it is not. Well, i guess i guess just I seeing mean, that like child the, the, the child photo of just like yeah. oh he's the youngest yeah he's, yeah, yeah, he's definitely dobby he had <laughs> he's gotta be dobby he's definitely Look at him. dobby it could be it could be Dude, there's just like there's just like no way that it's not and like i'm and and if it is then i'm i feel like i'm kind of upset that kohei made it so obvious for so long and that could have been like a crazy twist that he didn't need to leave so many breadcrumbs oh, yeah. for. You yeah, know what I mean? for sure. But, but at well, the same time, it's like if it's not Dobby, now I'm going to be like, then what the fuck was all that? Well, and it <laughs> makes sense. It really, really makes sense that Dobby has like blue fire because he's like the failure, like the the antithesis of Shoto. You know, yeah. like he's like, okay, you didn't get the ice quirk, and then you got some kind of like deformed fire quirk. Yeah. That that you know obviously is hurting his own body too. Like yeah. worse, worse than you know what endeavors does to him yeah blue fire is hotter than red so yeah i mean that's what he said is that toya was the only one who could actually burn hotter than himself wait they said that yeah endeavor said that toya was the only one that who who actually could burn hotter than endeavor i don't even remember that toy is definitely that was when a lot of people started going crazy about the blue flame yeah Yeah. you know it's hotter than red flame yeah Mm -hmm. that's when everybody really went up in arms about that dobby shit the first time that i like thought about it was when it was when in the uh in the incident with the high class nomu when dobby like pulls calls shoto by his name yeah he's like hey what's up ng or or no shoto Yeah, yeah 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 but no but then he also addresses endeavor directly he goes right up to endeavor ng yeah yeah and he was like yo ng what's cracking i was like oh yeah you're the son whatever that that's what that means <laughs> <laughs> that that was the, i didn't know that there was a time before that 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 kind of hinted at that but but yeah that's that's nuts yeah that's crazy that he yeah so i mean definitely you know huge possibilities that that toya is 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 dobby so why does he have white hair I was just gonna say it's weird that he has white hair and Dobby's is black, but you know, he died he, has like or no, he just kept burning dumb. himself. Yeah, he just keeps burning himself. But then it would be thinner. It looks kind of thick. I feel like he would dye it so like he could like stay under the radar yeah. until the time was right. Yeah, that's that's something that you know could easily. It be. could be, but it's just weird that uh, one of his white haired kids would have a fire quirk that's even hotter than his. You know, yeah. like white fire <laughs> i was just gonna say yo <laughs> white or dwarf it's like white fo- phosphorus fucking bomb from hey. metal gear solid <laughs> hey. i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't, I don't, I don't know yeah. uh but the mom might get out the joint soon you seen that yeah, like, she, uh, she might yeah, be I she might letter. be discharged yeah, yeah. and so. i and also we got to talk about the character moment of midoriya once again playing like the yeah, you know, oh, yeah. like the, the 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 fan like the mediator i didn't you know really I mean? like that 
I, I thought it was cool because like the, it, like we got that in the the in the festival right where he just was, like, tired of him intervening and getting it in people's business. It's like bro, I don't even know so you so much. He just I don't cares. even know you. You better calm yeah. your ass down. Putting your nose in my family business right now, you get swung on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but beat like, up. Deku just loves his people, man. You know what I mean? And like, if anybody else was in such a, like a dysfunctional situation with their family, and Deku was there to witness it, he'd be talking, he'd be spitting game to, to anybody in that situation. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like his yeah. ability to to like look at a situation and understand what's going on, and like feel the emotional yeah. responses from others, and let them know what it is they don't want to admit is happening is a exactly. you know is a good bridge you know for he's just for always eavesdropping and involved <laughs> in everything i'm starting to think he's a pervert i'm really oh starting to my think he's god i think i think uh him and minetta got some secret deal going down in the back <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you be the face that the everyone trusts fan. you be the face <laughs> that everyone, everyone trusts and i'm look. back here grabbing ass <laughs> everyone yeah. in the family was like damn this man is right yeah you know what i'm saying like He's fat the biggest facts. God. Yo, he's fat the biggest facts. He did. Um, he did. Even even Natsu behind the door, like Bakugo yeah. notices him eavesdropping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so he, tired he, of everybody there, eavesdropping. Like, Get out my business. Like this man is right. Nah, <laughs> man. He like you see the look on Todoroki's face, like Deku's spitting in big facts. But at the it's same time, it's like all blocked up and damned up because of, you know, pent up feelings. Yeah, and shit. which is going to stifle his growth. That could like spill over into like his development as a hero. And like Deku needs everyone to grow regularly to become the best that they could possibly be. He's looking out for not only just his friend, but like society as a whole. It's like he needs Shoto to be on the same level as him and Bakugo throughout this internship. He's not going to want <laughs> Shoto to be left behind because he's hung up over some fucking endeavor shit. It's like just forgive the motherfucker so you could be all you can fucking be. Oh shit. <laughs> well, yeah. he doesn't care. He's really neither. He says, like, listen, man, just say I'll never forgive him. Yeah. If it, you really it, hate this man, yeah. And move the fuck on. But if you not, yeah. my G. Let's, let's keep it pushing. You know what Whatever we gotta do, let's keep it in motion. Let's keep it a buck. Be... Let's keep it a bean, my guy. <laughs> He could be conflicted and just still be like, I don't know what to do. Like, he smacked my mom across the whole room. Like, he, <laughs> yeah. That's true. He watched his mom yeah. get smacked yeah. the fuck across the whole room, you know? Yeah, like, it's fucked up. And, and, and you know, because fucking he's trying to make fucking Shoto train when he's five. And the mom jumps in there like, hey, he's only five. He's like, yeah, he's already five. I don't know. But like, that's it, like a little, like, because their quirk doesn't, like, when does the quirk manifest? It's uh, at five, right? It's at, yeah, six or six Something between six like and that, eight. Yeah. I think that's crazy, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ng was really drilling this man. Yeah. <laughs> Hodler, like in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Asta that, was in the crazy. gym at five. Asta yeah. was definitely in the gym before five. He came out the womb. <laughs> he came out the womb doing push-ups. He said, "No magic power. I could feel this. I should start doing these pull-ups." <laughs> 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 but man, I, I I I just need people to stop eavesdropping in this goddamn fucking book. Like everybody's hiding around a corner. Can nobody just like come into the room and talk to each other face to face or what? Like we all gotta hide around the damn court. Yeah, it's like they all got cups. They all got cups with their ear up against the wall. <laughs> that is being nice, man. No. <laughs> On your brother. Uh, yeah. yeah. This little shit's got porn. I can hear it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I know how motherfuckers is feeling, man. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I don't have. I don't think I have any. Natsu is to just a salty bitch. I'm tired of him, dude. Like, Natsu, dude. Like I was y'all are literally right? sitting here eating dinner, and you go out of your way just to make a salty ass comment and walk away. Like, just eat your fucking food and shut the fuck up. Dude. He needs to let it be known. Like, I'm not fucking with buddy. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm already here. known. I it's know, already known. Now he's got to drive it home way, every chance every he situation gets. Situation uncomfortable. See, that's just too much. If Shoto was getting his ass that. whooped, how many, how many, how much ass whooping was Natsu getting? Just <laughs> right. not even having the, not even having the fire quirk to begin with. And, right. And well, none. He was just pretty much disregarded. Ignored. That's. I thing, don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe fucking Endeavor tried to train him initially. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you know Angie's coming on off the henny. And putting hands on his whole family well, and the, I, it seems like everybody thinks that uh toya is dead yeah so who yeah. are they blaming for that <laughs> yeah like, 
that's what I'm saying. Like, there, there's a lot of reasons to be mad at Endeavor. Yeah. Like, you, there, I could see why not to would get out and just be like, you know what? I, I came to this shit. Something reminded me of this piece of shit over here. Fuck him. You know, yeah. like, I mean, it's just, that's all it took. Then they started talking about Fuyumi taking over, like, all the motherly duties since he put yeah. the mom in the, in the nut house, you know, Looney Bender up over there. And then. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, like. Yeah, I think. I think the words from Deku were something that at least Fuyumi and Todoroki needed. You know, yeah. maybe maybe they maybe for Natsu it's not as like I feel like you're not saying nothing to Natsu. I feel like he has I feel like he hates Endeavor the most because he's the firstborn son. And oh, like how often are you going to hear throughout your life I'm looking for the perfect son, you know, and you're the firstborn and you didn't have what he wanted, so now you're you're neglected, you're probably beaten in a drunken frenzy regularly. You know what I mean? Like you and then now he's beating your mom too and you know what i'm saying like you think endeavor gets lit off fireball or what <laughs> <laughs> shit or jack daniel cinnamon <laughs> but uh endeavor really about to start putting in that that family time yeah and now. i'm and i'm so and i'm so happy that 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 endeavor is like having this redemption but i mean like it's it's flags to me you know what i mean like how 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 crazy would it be if like right when his family accepts him he's out of here toast well can... what i want to know too is when are we going to change the name to my show to academia you know like this <laughs> whole goddamn story is about this mother like yeah it has been it has been a lot about about shoto but i mean like i like when... the whole sto- the whole series from yeah. the beginning and, and that does like make it feel like kind of naruto too like the way that it like totally focused on sasuke for like a good portion of it but like at the same time it's like i like when a series can have characters that matters so much that you can take it away from the main character and not care you know what i mean yeah. i mean and if i mean i don't know if you care or not but it's like i'm cool with deku not being on screen for long periods of time me but, too yeah. me too and that's that that that, that is fine and i yeah. do like it it's, it's just that like if you think about the big three here shoto bakugo and midoriya so yeah. midoriya has all the um you know one for all like stuff going on inside yeah. him to like make his development interesting and then shoto's yeah. got like all this family stuff but like what what does bakugo really got other than i'm just the illest ever i'm like yeah. the the best prodi- prodigy yeah or whatever and yeah. i'm I, and then i have to like grow next mentally. to mentally yeah yeah it's like it's like that's 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 what you got to do when these other two are going to be outshining you with development for like all this time and they got all these like other avenues to explore with like th- their stories can go all these different ways like, well, like I, what what is what is bakugo got i you feel know? like the like, prodigious talent is is good enough because like you have him beating deku 1v1 in their in their hidden yeah. you know scuffle out there that was huge for bakugo you have bakugo you know making it you know apparent that he doesn't really have a whole lot of growing to do on the physical side of things so it's like if i i need he's trying to find what he what it is he lacks and he's the closest to endeavor right now you know yeah. what i mean so like he's still in the lead in a lot of ways yeah. so like having the other two you know have their development on the side behind him for different you know reasons other than their heroism or their cap or their capability you know physically i feel like is a good balance personally well, I'm just worried, like, what's going to happen because, like, I feel like we're getting all this um, exposition at uh, Bakugo being ahead of Shoto and Midoriya because Shoto and Midoriya are about to fucking light speed past the shit out of him with their way yeah. better quirks that <laughs> than Shoto. Got... No, than oh, Bakugo. Then Bakugo. Shoto's got double. Who knows what you can really do when you have fire and ice too? Like, yeah. can, can... is there some kind of like hybrid? Are you, is there going to be a purple? You know, like, yeah. I, I mean. <laughs> dude, I, I always thought that it would be super sick if you know, if Shoto just started grabbing people and like rapidly heating and cooling their body temperatures and giving them heart attacks and shit and like seizures and shit. That would be fucking raw. That'd but at the brutal. same time, Bakugo is the kind of character, like I've said before, that give him any quirk, and he's still the strongest one on the team. Yeah, I mean, Bakugo's so, like, quirk is raw. His his, his quirk is crazy strong on its own but like it's him as a person that makes him you know what like that that's where all this like capability comes from is that it's him well, that's using it right yeah, so shoto and- has busted quirks just because they're busted so does midoriya but like if bakugo had fucking half cold half hot yeah yeah you know yeah, what i mean yeah, sure. if bakugo had one for all well and that's that's one for all is 
you know, obviously a unique case. He yeah. gets it when he's 15 years old, and he's only had the last year to fucking perfect it. And he was blowing his body to bits using it when he first got it. So like, yeah. there's, there's, there's a lot there that can that, that's like going to happen. Bakugo would have had control of full cowl at a certain percentage and never hurt himself. He probably would have hurt himself like one time, and been like, oh, that's how that works. All right, bet. Never hurt myself again. That's the kind of character that Bakugo is. I mean, if if it was given to him when he already had his explosion quirk because if it was given to him and he was quirkless maybe he wouldn't have done any of that shit and he'd have just been like a little fucking shit bag with no, <laughs> you know it, it's hard to say it's yeah. but but um basically i guess what i'm saying is that midoriya's quirk and shoto's quirks i mean midoriya's quirks i guess too yeah, yeah. like those two are going to be ahead of everybody else i mean they, they just should be like, like yeah. that, that makes sense and and for if bakugo does stay equal to them that's going to be great i because we're going to kind of need it because if it doesn't it's like you still have like a sasuke naruto situation where sasuke is starting to see naruto get stronger than him you know and then bakugo starts seeing that midori is getting stronger than him that what, what's going to happen you know yeah. like Bakugo is just going to like use determination to get stronger, which sure that can happen and that can be fine. Like that's, that's not terrible. I feel um, like we've already seen like that kind of development though. Like when Midoriya originally got his quirk and Midoriya was starting to like outshine him kind of in like the school setting and like the festivals and whatnot yeah. was starting to like do yeah. some other shit and Bakugo reeled it in and, and, and figured out what to do without going crazy you know what i mean like he he, he kept a level head throughout all of them was like okay i need to like not be bakugo in this situation and see that midoriya is like starting to get tight i need to just see but starting to get tight and being flat out better yeah, is way, way different. different yeah you're right way you're different right. and right. and and that's why bakugo has to stay with them yeah which we're gonna need some really great uh just his his quirk needs to evolve or yeah. just needs to be used in some really great ways like it's gonna he needs Ko some long range uh, shit he needs to throw his fucking shit and ignite it hori kosh is just gonna have to be really creative with his quirk yeah for, like, sure. In, for the, sure in the future and, and maybe he's got a, a really nice big plan for it to come to make sure that he stays equal with those two yeah so yeah hopefully yeah I mean, he's already. That, I, I think the quirk is insane already. Yeah, he's got like crazy movement capability. Yeah, his like, movement speed is crazy. His attack speed, aerial movement, yeah. like crazy he's, DC. He's got that AP shot, bro. Like yeah. that armor he's, piercing focus laser shot. Like that yeah. shit is. He's he's Bakugo is doing crazy shit. He's he's, but but at the same time, Kiko is right though. Like there, it could very easily turn into a situation where Shoto and and Midoriya activate in a way that completely leaves Bakugo like in the dust because Bakugo has been the center of you know capability for the entire book basically you know what I mean like he's been the prodigious talent that is constantly showing people that he's nothing to play with you know what I mean and everyone else kind of has their moments too but Bakugo's moments are really blowing people away whenever they see it and it's been that way consistently so I can I can see them them catching up and, and even exceeding that, but at the same time, Bakugo isn't the kind of person that's going to just sit back and watch that happen. He's going to figure something out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I, so I'm there's, confident that we're going to get. There just has to be a lot of creativity. Yeah. Where Kosh is going to have to come up with his quirk to make it, you yeah. know, like be as formidable as the other ones. Because yeah. the other thing that is kind of tough for me is that Shoto, this story has literally not has only been about his fire quirk for like the last 200 chapters i know right we, we get no ice anything ever again and it's just like the he ice is like CC. nothing even though see but that's that's trash because it's like yeah. when i when i was i i just re-watched like the usj uh arc and the the festival arc and he couldn't literally freeze you and break your limbs off he can yeah. if he wants to yeah he, he can like not that kind of person this is yeah this is not he's just not that but, kind of person I, but no, no no and i'm not saying he has to do that but yeah. i'm just saying like I doubt Maybe, that kind of shit is ever going to happen. I, I just, I, I don't know. Like, he is, he should have the mastery over his ice quirk that Bakugo has over his explosion quirk. Yeah. Just, just the ice part of I it. I feel like he does, but he just yeah. uses it in careful ways because he understands its, its, its potential. Right. Yeah, it's like, sure. it's like, you well, know, that and without the use of the fire quirk, he can't fully use the ice quirk to its maximum potential without worrying, worrying about, you know, putting his body in. Yeah. yeah 
yeah. shitty condition. I mean, and that's that's both. That, that goes for both sides of his body. Yeah, he yeah, can't, exactly. can't heat up too hot and he can't get too cold. And so yeah. he has to use both to regulate, which is great. That's a lot to um, think about in combat, too. You know what I mean? So it's like with a quirk like Bakugo where it's just fucking exploding. blast Ooh. both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But what kind of strain does that have? Yeah, I don't know. Because, because yeah. using a quirk is like a muscle regardless of, you know, how you're you're using it using it hurts you know what I mean? yeah. in some kind of way yeah. so but as far as like todoroki's fire i don't think we'll see it like exceed endeavor shit by a lot yeah because i feel like it shouldn't exceed endeavors at all no yeah, but yeah because yeah. no it's like the point of endeavor was to to make a child that could actually regulate that heat to the point where they wouldn't have the detriment of yeah. you know the the heat on their body because he can only fight for so long at maximum heat output before the diminishing returns yeah yeah and then toy obviously you know if if we're going with that he's dobby burns himself actively as he fights because of how hot hot his shit is and it's just that's what it is yeah so yeah i don't feel like the the fire capability is going to go much past what endeavor has it's just the regulation aspect that is going to make him yeah the and able to fight for much longer periods of time. Yeah, I like that. But uh, that's all I, I have. Don't know. I just I feel like Mitaria is really the one that is going to blow past both of them. Well, yeah, yeah, the MC. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just when when this six quirk shit starts kicking in, and he's really getting you know the actual power percentage of one for all dialed up in a big way. Yeah. Then it's really going to start to show. But like you said. Bakugo is not the type of guy that's just going to sit back and watch. Yeah, he's going to figure yeah, something out. He's sure. definitely going to make And Horikoshi will deliver in, in the storytelling aspect of that. I and think. another one I think is going to play a big part down the line is Inasa, too. Oh, um, yeah, dude. I can't wait. He's my yeah. favorite. M. Bison. Yeah. Yep. Yoarashi. That's the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like him a lot, too. Yeah. Tight quirk, for sure. But uh, yeah. where do we think this uh, next chapter is going? Like, are we getting, like, story about Dobby and Toya? Or I feel like next chapter is either going to be the Dobby reveal. Um, I don't know if, if Horikoshi really wants to play it that way, though. I feel like that's going to be, like, a big moment with Dobby in Endeavor's face for that reveal, I feel like. Or at least in Shoto's face, you know what I mean? I feel like that. I feel like that's when we're going to actually get it. But I mean, if you if he was ballsy, he could give us the whole the whole story next chapter. But I, I mean, like I doubt it. You know? Yeah. yeah. I feel like we'll go back to Hawks next chapter. Yeah. I feel like. I hope the time skips over. We need. Yeah. To, yeah. Me too. I'm ready for action. Even if they keep it ambiguous and don't directly say like, yeah, Toya is Dobby, we got to get some exposition on what like i want to learn what happened with toya next chapter i feel uh, like that's that's necessary yeah yeah we should we can't just show a least, picture of yeah, the man yeah we should yeah and then move right away like yeah we should have, you're right you're right we should at the very least get the toya story yeah even if it's like not just the Dobby what reveal. happened when he was a kid why yeah. he ran away yeah i like that i'm here for that yeah. But you know, like like you said, it could move away to something else. But that would just leave that would leave a bad taste in my mouth. I'm yeah, like, me too. I think now I gotta wait 40 more chapters after <laughs> seeing this man's picture. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It'll be what it is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's all I it's, got. It's, it's a all decent I got. chapter, you know. Yeah. Just yeah, weird tones to it. Not a lot of obviously no action really, but but still a lot to talk about. We we talked about that for what 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but uh, i think that about wraps it up yeah, and dude. uh with that that'll do it for this episode of the project manga podcast <laughs> thank you all so much for watching if you did make sure you like that uh make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode of the project manga podcast make sure you smash that subscribe button and that notification bell if you're new to the project manga podcast and you've been enjoying the show so far make sure you leave a comment down below and let let us know what you thought of this week in jump and also visit the link tree in the box down below like we said before you can find in that link tree the links to any and all of our social media online communities and also you can find the links to whatever audio listening platform you would like to listen to the project manga podcast on because we're everywhere now every you know what i'm saying we out here uh, and uh <laughs> With all that being said, this will be another fabulous episode of the Project Manga Podcast. Wrapping up, I'm your host, Eagle. It's your boy, Kiko. Noxie. Sada bada. <laughs>